Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, March 5th, entitled, Yes and No. Now, Sunday morning we were talking about the topic of integrity. We were talking about, do I have congruence in every area of my life or am I a, a hypocrite? A hypocrite is someone who says one thing and does something completely different. A pure hypocrite is someone who intentionally says what they absolutely do not plan on doing to purposely deceive. And then we said there are other people whose actions are hypocritical, but they're not purposefully hypocritical. They fall, they sin, they don't rise to the expectation level of what they want for themselves. They're still, as we would say, in process. Now, I want to hit on something, though. Do I have true integrity? Now, Jesus, in Matthew 5, uh, is sharing about a number of things, but he talks about swearing. He said some people swear by the temple. Some people swear by the gold in the temple. And he, he goes through these things. And then he says, uh, all you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond that comes from the evil one. Now, think about that for just a second. Why would we swear? Why would it be necessary to swear by something rather than just being able to say yes or no? If our yes and no isn't enough, that means somewhere we have lost the integrity of the other person. If I've got to go, this is what has happened. They go, no, I don't believe you. And you go, no, listen, I swear. I swear I swear on my mother's grave. I swear, you know, whatever. All of a sudden, my yes and no is not enough. And what that tells me is my integrity is missing at some level. If I can't simply say yes or no, and those people go, if Pastor John says yes, it's a yes. And if Pastor John says no, it's no. I don't have to swear by anything. I don't have to convince anyone. I don't have to massage it or I don't have to you know, do all this other rigmarole because if I have integrity and people believe that my yes and no is solid, I don't need to say anything else. So here's the thing. Is your yes and your no enough? Good question. Is your yes and your no enough? enough. Because if it's not, it's because there's somewhere a lack of integrity. It's the litmus test that says, boy, I need to work on making sure that my integrity is at the point to where if I say yes, people go, that's a yes. And if I say no, they go, it's a no. Because I know this individual. They don't just say things willy-nilly. They don't just say what people want to hear. They don't lie. They don't say one thing out of one side of their mouth and another out of another. If they said yes, it's a yes. If they said no, it's a no. That's that integrity. That's, I want to be the same person no matter where you run into me. I want to be congruent in every area of my life. And I for sure want to have the type of integrity that people don't have to have me swearing about a bunch of stuff that they go, no, if he said it, he means it. So let's pray. Father, Lord, for every single one of us, uh, we all have gaps and uh, areas where our integrity can be pulled down. But Lord, we don't want to have those remain, and we certainly don't want la large gaps. We want to be a person of integrity, someone that if we said yes or no, that would be purely enough because people know us, and they know that we fulfill our word. We walk where we say we're going to walk. And so, Lord, I ask that you would, uh, again, make us aware of any place where our yes and no is not enough, and that we would take that as a sign that we need to shore up our integrity. Lord, do that even as we seek for your wisdom in doing it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, I encourage you, find out, is your yes and no enough? And if it's not, fix it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.